Hey friends, I couldn't resist to make this video on what is possibly the best change to Svelte in years, and that is Proxit State. So what does that even mean? But let's first quickly recap. So in Svelte 5 we have this new reactive system runes, so here I'm saying dollar sign state, and this is now a signal. And if you want to learn more about runes, you can check out my other video, but in this case here we have these to-dos, I just have some functions here remaining and here is add to do. So now to use this syntax so we can bind this value of the to do text and to do done just simply by using this bind syntax, we actually have to make this nested values reactive also. So we achieve this in this function by saying add to do and then returning the text and done value into runes also. But this is a bit clunky, right? And you see we have to use these getters and setters here in JavaScript. So we can see this app works as expected. So now we can say like, share and subscribe. And we can see this is recalculating, right? And now we get fine grain reactivity because now when we update this value, it's not going to run this recalculating. So we get fine grain reactivity using runes. And that's really awesome, but the developer experience isn't that great. So the Swell team came up with another idea using classes. So stick with me. You're going to see this is going to get incredible. So instead of doing this, they propose that we use a class so we can say class to do. So we can say done. It's going to be by default false. And then let's just say text is state. And this is just going to be empty. And now we can use a constructor. You can say text and now we can say this text is equal to text and now we can replace all of this code here so now this gets a lot simpler just replace these getters and setters with our class so now we can say new to do and now we can pass to the constructor event target value so under the hood the swell compiler is going to turn these values into getters and setters so if we console log out to do, for example, let's go here. And now we can see this is turned to getters and setters. And now if we say like, share, and subscribe, you're going to see our app works as expected. But this isn't really Svelte like, right? And the Svelte team also agrees based on the feedback they got. And don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against classes. This is going to be incredible when you have some other logic that you have to abstract runes in another file. So you can have all of your logic collocated here in a class. So this is always going to be an option if you need to do something like this. But we love Svelte because of its simplicity, right? So let me show you something. So now we can just remove this class. We can go here straight up. And let me just remove this. And now. Let me just say to do push. The only thing we have to do, we can say done false. We can say text event target value. And now we can say to do's equal to do's because reassignment in Svelte, right? All right, so let me save this and let's see if it works. So I can say like, share, subscribe, and everything works the same as before and we get fine grain reactivity. So by default, with the newest update, you have deeply nested state, which is reactive. So I'm going to link this GitHub pull request in the description if you want to read over it. So by default, reactivity in Svelte 5 is going to be nested by default. But there's one more thing, and I did something cheeky on purpose here. So remember how I told you about this reassignment in Svelte? Well, I actually misled you on purpose, because now in Svelte 5, you don't have to reassign anymore when you're changing an array or anything else. Push, pop, and etc. Boom, gone. It's going to be automatically reactive. We can just remove this line. Look how beautiful this is, friends. Now we can save this, and you can see when we go back to our example, we can like, share, and subscribe, and we didn't have to reassign any of these values how beautiful is this friends and this is the beauty of the new proxy state in Svelte based on your feedback Svelte gets these awesome updates all right friends so if you like what you've seen don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also support me by becoming a patron thank you for watching and catch you in the next one peace